What's up, YouTube? Sid's from Sid's Autograph site back again uh, with a video showing off some of my thrift shop and garage sale on, and other pickups. Uh, first off, I went to the local disabled American veterans thrift, stop, thrift shop, uh, picked up a few things. Uh, actually, first, before we get to those, uh, I want to show you guys this. I got this a few days ago. Uh, it was not today. Um, this is the first edition of Seven Years in Tibet by Heinrich Harker, or Harer, Herer. It's not in the greatest condition, but it is a first edition. Uh, stated right here, first edition, 1953. Um, guys, this was the book that the movie starring Brad Pitt, Seven Years in Tibet, was based on. Uh, checked on eBay and first editions of this book are going for around $15 so uh, didn't pay much for it so thought I'd give it a shot picked it up all right now to the DAV thrift store pickups uh, first we have they'll do it every time by Jimmy Hatlow uh, this is a pocket book from Nineteen forty-five, fifth printing. Uh, it's full of comic strips. Uh, not familiar with this this guy at all, or the strip. They'll do it every time. Uh, but I figure a back's not in the greatest shape, but. Figured I'd give it a shot, pick it up, see what it does on eBay. Um, next, I'm going to show a book, and this is by no means to offend anybody. I'm not wanting to offend anybody with this book. So please, I don't want any bad comments or dislikes or thumbs down or any of that stupid shit. Uh, this is not me meant to offend anybody. This is I picked this up just for uh, hopefully make some money on it. Uh, this is Jewish Jokes for the John. Uh, never seen a hardcover book like this before. So I thought it was neat and picked it up. It's copyright 1967. Uh, it's got that weird hole in it. I guess you stick a piece of rope through it and hang it in your bathroom somewhere. Uh, but it's illustrated, little drawings. Uh, there was a copy that sold for $3 on eBay. And I did not pay anywhere near that. So I'll pick that up. Uh, next, from the DAV, picked up this book here, The Christmas Ruby by Robert Lawrence Holt. Uh, sticker on the front, autographed by author. Uh, it is inscribed, Merry Christmas, Robert Lawrence Holt. Uh, he is the author of his most famous book, and I think his only famous book is Good Friday. Uh, it's, it was a New York Times bestseller. So, pretty cool. And next, picked up this old magazine from August 1950, Open Road, Young People's Magazine. Uh, never seen this before. So I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, nice little article on Phil Rizzuto. It's a little bit like Boy's Life, I guess. Uh, I think this was probably trying to compete with Boy's Life. An article on flying saucers. Uh, I've seen copies of these magazines sell pretty well on eBay. So, just thought it was kind of neat. Here's an article on Jimmy Stewart. Uh, he's racing at the Soapbox Derby. It's in pretty okay condition for. Being from 1950. So it's pretty neat. This is when stamps was big time hobby. So pick that up. 
Um, next from the DAV, I got this book here, Uniforms of the Republic of Texas and the Men That Wore Them, 1836 to 1846, uh, by Bruce Marshall. And it is signed and inscribed here. It's very cool. Thought it was a really neat book. Uh, has some nice pictures in it. So I got that. And next from the DAV. This book here, uh, Peef, the Christmas Bear. Yep, strange title. Don't ask me. I didn't title it. Uh, children's Christmas book. And it is signed by the illustrator, Warren Hansen. Signed and uh, date inscription. So I thought this was a really neat book. Um, he is the illustrator and author of many, many children's books. So, very, very cool book. Okay, and then we have this book here. Uh, this is the Gears of War Limited Edition Player's Guide. Uh, you open it up here, it has uh, this book, which is in, in the best of condition, obviously, but uh, this is the Art of Gears of War. And this is a really, really cool book. Uh, I don't play the game. I'm not a gamer. I got this for a possible resale. But I do really like this art book. There's that, and here's the strategy guide. So I looked on eBay, copies of this sell pretty good on eBay. And it's in a little folder here. Hope you get it closed back up again. Very cool. And my last two DAV purchases was this photo here. It is not signed, unfortunately, uh, but it is the prime crew of fourth manned Apollo mission. Uh, Eugene A. Siernan, John W. Young, and Thomas P. Stafford. Uh, some of you guys might have seen uh, one of my Show It Off Sunday videos where I showed off uh, the book that I have signed uh, by Gene Siernan. So that's the main reason I picked this up. Um, this is an official NASA National Aeronautics and Space Administration photo. Uh, and also I paid like 19 cents for this photo. So that's another reason I picked it up. Uh, it'll go nice with my Gene Siernan autograph book. And it's just a really cool looking photo. So got that, and the piece de resistance, the score of the day for DAV, uh, sign and inscribed photo of George Savalas. Hi Terry, love you, George Savalas. Uh, he is best known for his role on the TV series Kojak with his brother Telly Savalas, uh, but he did do a uh, he appeared in many other television shows, uh, and he died in 1985. Um, photo obviously is not in the best condition, uh, but I paid a dollar twenty-nine, so I couldn't pass that up. You know, obviously the signature and inscription's a little faded and everything, but for a dollar twenty-nine, I'll buy signed photos all day long. So very very cool. And next we'll do a Goodwill find. Not really the best find for me at a Goodwill. Uh, but this is Charleston Reborn, a southern, city, a southern City. It's Navy Yard in World War II by Fritz P. Hamer. And it is signed. Uh, Fritz Hamer. I'll have to 
I'm going to do the last page here because I forgot already. Uh, is the chief curator of history at the South Carolina State Museum in Columbia, South Carolina. So that was kind of a neat book. So pick that up. Uh, and then a yard sale pickup. Plant Your Dreams, My Child, written by Nancy Bestman and illustrated by Jeannie Bunnell. What's really cool about this is the signature page here. Uh, Nancy Bestman wrote, May your dreams be planted in faith, and may you always feel the presence of God's love. Nancy Bestman and Jeannie Bunnell. And also Jeannie did a little sketch here of one of the characters in the book. So I thought this was really, really cool. Um, both Nancy and Jeannie have worked together on many children's books. Paid a quarter for this. So that was a steal. All right, and then at one yard sale, I got a couple things. First off, the Kitty Pal. Very, very cool little thing here. It's brand new. Uh, made in Japan. So there's a Japan mark right there. Looks like brand new, never been used. Uh, what you do is, not the greatest background here, I guess, black on black, uh, but you put letters in here, uh, you moisten this sponge, and you use it to seal your letters. And it also comes with it's brand new, still in the wrapper, a pen, letter opener, and it's also a ruler too. So um, I haven't seen many of these on eBay. Um, there's only one that I saw on the completed listings by now was $12. And they didn't have the pen. So who knows? I paid 25 cents for this. So I might end up doing really well on this. I don't know. I'll be sure to let you guys know. And from that same seller, these two books. Written by talk show great Art Bell. And I was so happy to find these books, guys. Um, I used to listen to Art Bell. I mean, I haven't done it in a long time, but uh, back in 1998, uh, you guys don't know this about me, but uh, for five, six years, I was a security guard. Uh, back in 1998, after I got my license, uh, my first job was at a gated retirement community and working overnight. And we'd all listen to Art Bell in the uh, the guard shack. And I love I love uh, the stuff that he'd talk about. Uh, I'm not sure if he's still on the air. He probably is uh, out of Nevada. I believe he, did, if I remember correctly, he did it out of his home in Nevada. But I found two books by Art Bell: The Art of Talk and The Coming The Coming global superstorm and guys they are both signed and there's that one there and there's that one there I was so friggin happy to find these guys you just have no idea uh, I used to have his I think second book The Quickening which was a great book um, I paid a dollar for both of these guys. Amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing day. And lastly, went to Dollar Tree, bought three packs of these pop cards. It's the first time I've seen them uh, at my Dollar Tree. So, I had to buy them, give them a shot. So, I'll open them up live and see what I get. Uh, we got Rachel Bilson, 
Hey, that looks familiar. Christina Ricci. Emma Roberts. Camilla Bell. And Mina Suvari. So that pack was all eye candy. Very nice. And the next pack. Amanda Sifried. It's awesome. I'll send that off to her TTM because she is a very good TTM signer for what I can gather. Eliza Dushku. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, um, Mandy Moore. Michelle Rodriguez. Mm. And Jessica Beale. Good lord, that was a great pack. And last pack. Leighton Meester. Okay. Emmy Rosum. Lily Collins. Emmanuel Triqui. And another Lily Collins. I have not heard of any of those. Okay. So that was that, guys. And. Those are my pickups for today. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. And I will talk to you guys later. See you.